in May of 2023, the eyes of the world were on a small range in southern Pennsylvania where they waited to see the long-anticipated Mini vs. Pritchett championship shoot-off of all time. We've actually been promising this for almost four years, so we finally got around to doing it. And I assure you, this is a completely fair, impartial, and unbiased video. Here are the rules. So this is purely a test of accuracy. It's been pretty well established that the Pritchett is the better military battlefield cartridge, but people seem pretty convinced that the Mini shoots tighter groups. I think my Pritchetts have finally reached the point that I can give old Claude Minier a run for his money. So first up is Nick with the Mini Ball. He's shooting the original Ordnance Burton bullet, size 2.5775, out of a Colt contract rifle with a brand new Whitaker progressive depth barrel, which is right at 58 caliber. Horrid, awful Burton Mini. I think I'm actually hitting a little bit better than last time. Uh-oh. A little bit. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to deliberately throw it so that the Pritchett looks good. What kind of a friend are you? I never heard that out of, and I know it's yeah, just... You got two touching the bottom edge of the black. Yeah. And then three in the white. So you're you're slightly low. Your group is like at the five o'clock area of the black edge of the target. So Nick has chosen to use these these plastic abominations for holding his powder charge. Which you're not getting the full Burton experience with uh, 
<laughs> Without getting a mouthful of powder. Stuff precious. Like Gold flakes. Yeah. Let, me, let me put it on slow mo and we can try to catch a bullet. Because the light conditions are, are pretty good right now. Now it's my turn. I'm shooting my old P53, which also has a Whitaker .577 barrel, and the cartridge is the hay pattern .568 bullet with the wooden plug over 68 grains of 1F Swiss. to get heat off the top of your barrel. Ah. Get one snap. Does it? Paper. All right, the walk of truth. Uh -huh. This is the walk of truth. I can't, I can't, um, I can't walk in Nebraska from the army. <laughs> I still get that weird. Oh feeling. yeah, well the sergeant major is gonna come out and yell at us. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. That might be ten. Oh man. Holy shit. They're clean too. We got a few missing, but did I miss one? Or did I let's see here? So here's the Pritchett. The 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did shoot ten, didn't I? I. Uh... Well, and none of those look like uh, like I put two through the same. But they're really clean holes. Look how daggedy these I'll are. I'll have to watch the video and make sure I shot ten. Look how clean those are compared to these. Because if I shot ten and eight hit and two inexplicably completely missed, that would be. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what you got here. See how clean? See how clean your holes are? Yeah, those are nasty jagged Burton holes. Ugh, look at those. Look that's how a, clean. That's look a tight, clean that, that nice is. tight tight group though. I only see eight out of ten. I'll check the video. I'm pretty sure I shot ten, so there's a chance that I uh, I sailed a couple off into oblivion. And that, as it turns out, is exactly what happened. You can see in this video from the puff of dust that this bullet went well over the target for reasons known but to God. Well, the mini versus Pritchett championship of all time will need to be shot again. Nick thought I had scored his target through the spotting scope, so while I was shooting, he continued to shoot at his target while chronographing his bullets. And the, the minis averaged 983 feet per second, in case you wanted to know, which is only about 20 feet away from what they got in the 1850s. But anyways, we can't say these are conclusive results, but uh, here's what we got. So there were eight holes in the Pritchett target, and there were 13 on the mini, since Nick shot a few more rounds into it. But I only scored the 10 best shots on Nick's target uh, because I'm such a nice guy. In terms of raw score, even with only eight hits, uh, the Pritchett shot a 66 and the mini shot a 55. Now, that said, if Nick could just move his point of impact about four inches up and left, he would have shot about an 80. Uh, by figure of merit, which measures the consistency of a group, the Pritchett shot a 2.16 inch figure and the Mini was right at its heels with a 2.35. Uh, and for those of you who care about the group size, Pritchett was 7.53 and the Mini was 7.83, which is, you know, pretty darn close. So at the end of all of this, we end up with interesting and useful, but inconclusive results. This is not a once and for all decision. Even with two misses, the Pritchett scored higher numerically, uh, one right through the X ring and one in the 10 ring. Uh, and on the mini target, I didn't count the three worst shots. Uh, we really have no way of knowing if those three were part of the 10 that counted. So we're just going to have to shoot it again. And I guess I need to address the elephant in the room, which is why two of the Pritchetts completely missed the paper. It might be remotely possible that they went through some of the other holes, but uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, so naturally, the only other possible explanation is malicious sabotage. Some lurching minion of Minier probably snuck up and glued my paper patches to the bullets. The investigation is ongoing, and rest assured, we have many suspects, including the entire membership of the North-South Skirmers Association, the old guy with the Mauser who suspiciously left the range right as we arrived, my neighbor Chip, and the Welsh. Now, assuming the remote possibility that it wasn't sabotage, it could be the result of the great nemesis of all paper-patched bullets, and that is, for some reason, the paper wouldn't separate from the bullet, causing drag, and the bullets will wildly veer off course. So in the video, we can see this happening at least once. It was actually my final shot. In all of my years shooting Pritchett's, this does inevitably happen from time to time. It tends to be a lot more common when the barrel gets really heavily fouled, 
but never in all those years has it happened twice out of 10 shots. And it just had to happen on this video during this shoot <laughs> for the mini versus Pritchett world championship of all time. Uh, you know, isn't that always how it works? <laughs> your, your best shots, greatest feats of marksmanship always happen when you're at the range alone and your most humiliating misses always happen in front of a crowd of sadistic hecklers. So <laughs> Pritchett uh, has been foiled again and the evil mini ball gets away with it once more. Uh, don't worry, we, we will have a rematch. And uh, <laughs> oh, I, I just I hate 